But his habit of flying private is coming under new scrutiny, with his own department's inspector general now doing an audit looking into the use of government jets by that Department of Transportation Secretary. Now, a recent Fox News digital report found he's taken at least 18 taxpayer-funded flights during his short tenure. One of those was to New York City for a radio interview and two brief meetings before returning hours later, not to mention one to Europe and one to Canada. Buttigieg weighed in on the audit just a few hours ago, saying he welcomes it. Hmm. The vast majority of the time I travel on commercial airlines in economy class, uh, but there is a portion of the time, I'd say about 10 to 20 percent, uh, when we use our agency's aircraft. The number one reason we would use that agency aircraft is uh, that it actually works out to be less expensive for taxpayers than, uh, uh, than the commercial airline tickets would be. I welcome that independent look so that we can get past the politics of this and make sure everybody understands the facts. Haley, why are taxpayers funding his trip to Europe with his husband or his trip to Canada to receive an award anyway? That's a great question. I mean, to me, look, he's, he claims I've had 126 flights, 108 have been commercial, have been economy. But to your point, what has each government-funded private jet flight been and what what is the justification for taxpayer dollars on that to me what's more galling is his complete obsession with climate change and the fact that a private jetliner has 10 times more carbon intensive <laughs> emissions than a commercial jetliner and 50 times more than a train so he needs to embrace like the Greta Thunberg let's sail Mayor Pete now Secretary Pete across the Atlantic Ocean if he wishes to go to Europe <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> Did they put a bike on that boat so he can bike around when he gets there like the issue just for That's a hilarious. second for a photo op though <laughs> yeah right yeah. um you know what i don't i think if he just paid his own way it wouldn't be a big thing yeah. plenty of people take private planes so if he's going to get that award or whatever just just write a check for it he's got a salary i mean why not just do that then you don't have all these questions um i wish however and would have helped foot the bill had he gone to east palestine ohio right away on a mm. private jet yep. mm. i think we could have crowdfunded for that yep. <laughs> that's right. right so he could actually smell what was coming out of the ground before they started moving it around and trying to take it out of state look uh, he's been accused of wearing like a party city costume construction worker on the ground and all sorts of things <laughs> let's put all of that aside however funny it may be um, the seriousness of this is, is he really using, does he have the gall to use our taxpayer money to do things he shouldn't? And on the things that really are emergencies, we wouldn't have a problem with that as Americans. Ohio's an emergency. Mm. Walk if you have to, but get there. Go back. Do more. That's right. Mark? Yeah, I mean, it, no one would care about this if he was doing a great job. It's just Ooh. that simple. I mean, if, 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 you're, if you're doing your job and you're leading in a crisis, then no one cares about your private jet travel. I worked for Secretary Rumsfeld at the Pentagon. He flew military air everywhere and he did a great job and no one cared. Uh, I mean, the problem Buttigieg has is he's completely uninterested in his job. I mean, when when the when uh, you know when he was in Portugal during the during the supply chain crisis in 2021, he was on paternity leave. He was on Portugal during the rail uh, strike issue. Now he's AWOL when it comes to the uh, rail derailment in East Palestine. He wants to be president, mm. right? Yeah. If if you can't handle a rail strike, how can you handle Ukraine? How can you handle a conflict with China? And it's such a missed opportunity because if you look look at Ron DeSantis right now. People are talking about him for president. Why? It's not just the war on woke. It's when Hurricane Ian hit, mm -hmm. he swung into the model of a commander in chief, a ma an executive managing a crisis. Here was an opportunity for Pete Buttigieg to show the American people, I can lead in a crisis. I'm taking charge of this thing. I'm going to I'm going to lead the federal resources to save the people of East Palestine. Instead, he couldn't care less. He wanted to give a speech about about climate change and, and uh, racial disparities in construction. It, it, so he, I mean, it's just he's I think he's blown up his chances of being president of the United States by his disastrous tenure. And Nicole, not only are we paying for, paying for Buttigieg's bloat, but we're also paying now for this IG's investigation. <laughs> well, absolutely we are, but he did look great in his little hard hat when he went to East Palestine, didn't <laughs> That's he? That's debatable. Got... <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> listen, hat listen tip to full party disclosure, city. if I could fly private, I would. I can't afford to fly myself and my family private everywhere, but if I had a job or an income, I, I absolutely would. And as long as he's honest about the fact that he's, he's flying private on taxpayer's dime and he's a hypocrite, I'm fine with that. Just acknowledge it. But what he did was he came out and said, I only fly private when I'm saving taxpayers' dollars. BS. And I'd say it if we were on live TV. I've tried, I've looked into these prices. It never makes sense. It, you're not saving dollars. He's lying. He's a hypocrite. So I, that's why I have no respect for the man. 
I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.